Ugh. Just the woman I was looking for. Hey! Lena Dunham. How's it going? It's going good. I'm just gonna ask you 73 completely random questions in a totally unrehearsed fashion. Absolutely. So what are you reading over there? Oh, I'm reading the Fl A Florence Diary by Diana Athill. She's um, almost 99, so that's really exciting. Not bad. What's the best book you pretended to read? Great Gatsby, I have not finished that. What's the best thing about writing a book? You get to hold it in your hands. What's the hardest thing about writing a book? It's very lonely. What are you writing right now? Short fiction. Lena, tea's on the table. Oh, my God, thank you. What's the first thing you do when you wake up? Uh, the first thing I do when I wake up is that I hit snooze. What's the last thing you do before you go to bed? Um, I just talk and talk and talk, and uh, then I'm asleep. When do you feel most creative? 4 a.m. Uh, what do you do on your days off? What the f*** is a day off? Who has one of those? Well, this is very charming. Oh, thank you. I was just wondering real quick, uh, what's the Wi-Fi? Uh, the Wi-Fi? I'm not going to give you my Wi-Fi, I'm so sorry, but at my old house, it was nudity waiver. So what's the theme of this room? Well, we call this the lady room, but really the theme is, you know, queer and feminist resistance and our important foremothers and forefathers. Okay. Notice a lot of poodles in here, too. Mm-hmm. We're a pretty poodly household. What's your favorite hair color that you've ever had? Uh, neon green. What's one fashion trend you've tried that you regret the most? I never needed to wear formal shorts. <laughs> in general, when do you feel most beautiful? When I'm directing. Where do you spend the most time in your house? Um, in my closet office. Do you want to see it? Yes. Okay, Let's good. go. Who's the most fashionable woman you know? Chloe Sevigny. I'm going to say I know her. We've really more met in passing. Uh, what is your favorite outfit that you've ever worn to a red carpet event? A Jean-Baptiste Valley dress that looked like pink birthday cake. Great. Bra or no bra? No bra ever once in my life. How many pantsuits should a woman own? Uh, a woman should own up to 90 pantsuits. Which room do you want to go in? Mm, let's go with this one. You made the right choice. All right. What makes you the angriest? Uh, when jealousy turns into cruelty. Do you have a nickname? Yeah, it's Leans or Lean Bean. Oh, okay. Oh my god, hi Paul! Hey, I look, I found out what was jamming the printer. Wow! It's this, a poodle. This is Paul. He designed the entire house. He's basically my creative director. Paul, ask a question. What should we name her? Susan. And why are you gonna call that dog Susan? Um, after my aunt, Susan Simmons. Well, besides Susan, what's the most precious thing you've ever seen? Her sister, Karen Domingo. Here, do you mind taking her a second? Not at all. Thank you so much. All right. So, Lena, you're hanging out with Rihanna. What are you guys doing? Um, I think we're by the pool, eating pasta, talking about our feelings. If she wants to smoke a joint, I will, even though it does make me paranoid. All right. You're hanging out with Hillary Clinton. What are you guys doing? We're talking about how to rescue girls and women from global oppression, and we're talking about how to steam and preserve our pantsuits. You're hanging with the girls from Girls. What are you girls doing? Complaining. Who gets the most drunk at a girls' rap party? Jemima. Uh, who was the most or least comfortable when filming sex scenes on girls? Weirdly, Allison is the most comfortable, and I'm kind of the least comfortable at the end of the day. All right. What's a favorite naked scene you've had to do? Uh, my favorite naked scene, well, it was really when I was wearing my green mesh tank top and I had my nipples out for a whole week. And that shirt's now owned by the Museum of Television and Radio. Do you want to see my guest house? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, cool. What is the plot line of Women, the 2025 reboot of Girls? Everyone would be like at an oxygen bar complaining about their newly adopted robot children. Okay, so really adorable guest house you have here. Thank who, you so much. Who would you like to invite to stay in this guest house? Um, I think Ariana Grande and Dorothy Parker together, they have to share a bed. Okay. When were you the most starstruck? Dame Helen Mirren got me pretty worked up. Wait, are those puppets behind you? Oh, these are actually dolls. Oh, it's you and Jack. Yeah, it's Jack and me. Oh, that's so funny. How did you meet Jack, by the way? We met on a blind date. What's one thing about Jack that only you know? He's Jewish. That's a big secret. So, okay, if I poke this doll of you right here, would you feel it? That actually really hurt. No, it did not. Did. Can you tell me who I should be following on Instagram right now? At Love Brown Sugar. What do you have to say to your internet trolls? You guys seem to have a lot of fucking time on your hands. What's the funniest thing you read about yourself online? Um, I read that Jack refuses to wear socks and that I was going to dump him for it. Who do you look up to most in life? Hmm. I look up to the activists who came before me who made it possible for me to have the right to choose. Uh, where do you see yourself in 10 years? I want to be a mother of babies and poodles and acts of societal resistance. What is one thing you hope to be remembered for? I'd like to be remembered for having fun, but I will probably be remembered for visiting the emergency room more than anybody else you know. What scares you the most? Being misunderstood. What's the next on your career to-do list? Theater. Whose creative style or voice would you say is most similar to yours? I hope it's Elaine May. That would be a dream. 
What up and coming voice are you the biggest champion of right now? Charlotte Lorston. Well, look how convenient that is. All right, do you have any secret talents? I do, do you wanna see? Yes, let's do it. Okay, so I'm double jointed, but I can also sing really high. Look at what my thumbs are doing. The most unusual double talent I've ever seen. All right, you have nine tattoos. Can you quickly give the story behind every tattoo? Yes, this is Ferdinand the Bull. He's a famous pacifist. Then on my side, Jemima tattooed a little picture of her dog, Rosie. Over on this side, I have an illustration of a children's book, A Drunk I Did It, It's Not Great, I Should Get It Covered Up. Oh. Then I have Laura Thornhill, who's one of the first female skateboarders in mm -hmm. history. Then on my butt, I have a snake wrapped around the moon. And I also have the sign for the Odeon, my favorite restaurant in Tribeca. Okay. I have Eloise as a tramp stamp, you know Eloise who lived at the plaza. Yeah. And then it says staunch right there for Grey Gardens. Okay, and what's tattoo number 10 gonna be? Um, Jemima's planning to tattoo the word nasty on my butt. <laughs> All right, Lena, I have a special guest who insisted on filming a question. Oh, wow. Hey, Lena Dunham, want to break out a dance move with me? Do I ever. Thank you, Neil. What animal do you identify with most? A rabbit. They're so scared. Yeah? What's your favorite swear word? It's What's the worst pickup line you've ever heard? Um, I was on McDougal Street and a young gentleman uh, handed me a wet cloth and said the words, want some ether. If you could ban one word from the cultural zeitgeist, what would it be? I would say it would either be totes or girl crush. If you ran for office, what would your slogan be? Lean on me. What's the biggest issue facing society today? That some of Americans don't believe other Americans are real humans. Okay, so imagine that Donald Trump agreed to get on the phone with you for exactly one minute. What do you tell him? I would ask him whether he wanted all women to be treated with the same respect that he believes his daughter should be treated with. Lena, next question comes from your neighbor in that window behind you. Hey, Lena. Hi. I'm going out of town this weekend and I need a sitter. What's the one quality this babysitter needs to have? I think a babysitter should be able to eat all the food in the house while you're gone. Cool. Let's talk up. What's the biggest surprise you've ever had? My 20th birthday party, my friend Audrey Gelman planned me a surprise party and everyone jumped out of the bathroom and I almost fainted. <laughs> What's the greatest love story of all time? Um, I'm gonna have to go with Lady and the Tramp on that one. What fictional character would you love to date? Robin Hood. Who's the number one person you want to shoot a love scene with? Um, Tom Hardy. Which woman in history should get the Hamilton musical treatment? Sojourner or Truth. What would your Real Housewives tagline be? My my rules. <laughs> okay, so you love the TV show Friends. What does Chandler even do for a living? He's a transponster? He used a copy machine a lot, that is what I remember. Right, what's something cool in this room? Oh, this is a beautiful diorama that Paul made me of uh, Stuyvesant Square Park where my Uncle Jimmy and a lot of incredible men of the past went cruising. Interesting. Can you say something in a foreign language for me? Me llamo Lina, me gusta nadar y bailar. I think that means my name is Lina and I like to swim and dance. Muy impresivo. Who makes you laugh the most? My father, even when it's not on purpose. Okay, so are Judd and Leslie always that funny? Yes, unless he's napping or very full after a large meal. Can we call him now? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Who is the most unexpected person in your phone? A pet psychic? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Hi, Judley. Hey, Lena, quick question. Who's your totes girl crush? Let's end this conversation. All right, Lena, uh, question number 73. Can you imagine a girl's theme song and sing it out in the same style that you just did before? Oh, yeah. Um, the girl's theme song would be like, We girls, we can't stop and we won't stop till we have revolution. Okay. We're women. We're women. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's wonderful. I mean, do you want to hear the rest of it? Do uh, you have to go? Or? Yeah. No, it's okay. I got to go. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Bye, Lena.